and Compass Swiss Consulting, covering all your Swiss machining needs. ISO Insert Nomenclature Training Welcome to the ISO Carbide Insert Nomenclature Worksheet and we're going to instruct you on this right now. Uh, this worksheet is partially developed from the Kenametal Catalog 2090 Micro Machining Tooling, the Iskar Catalog Complete Mate Machining Solutions 2006, and the Kyocera Cutting Tools Catalog 2007-2008. Uh, those are the references that we use, plus we used a couple other catalogs. Um, not all of this information will be found in a single catalog. Again, we combine several catalogs to give you as much information as possible. The ISO standard for inserts. Most people who work on the machines will understand a CCMT. They know it's maybe an 80 degree insert, but they don't know what all these letters and numbers designate about the insert. Um, and we're going to go over this and we're going to show you exactly what they are and how you're going to use this sheet and the ISO tool holder nomenclature worksheet to match your tools with your inserts and we'll go over why in just a little bit. The first position as we see is a C. If we look down the list our first letter is a C. It tells us that this holder is an 80 degree diamond. That's the first position holds an 80 degree diamond insert. Now if you have a VBMT insert you're going to look down a V is 35 degree or if it's a DCMT D is a 55 degree and there's going to be some other inserts in here we may not even use but it's used on several other machines as an 85 degree, 82 degree, um, 55 degree parallelogram, a rectangle diamond, octagonal. You'll, you'll notice all these inserts are listed here. Our standards 55, 35, 80 degree uh, are covered within here as well and they're highlighted. The second position is the relief angle. Okay, We have a C so we go up the list, it's highlighted, it tells us that it's a 7 degree pocket. Now 7 degree clearance angle or relief angle is from the cutting tip down to the base of the insert or the bottom of the insert. So there's a 7 degree relief all the way around the insert. This is very important because your tool holder must also have the matching degree angle on it in the pocket. Okay, the insert is a seven degree, so our holder has to have a seven degree pocket. This information was developed because of one of our customers while doing a training session had an operator change an insert and install a new insert and then have it fall apart. He couldn't hold size, couldn't hold length, and it took a while to figure out that what had happened was he had pulled out an insert, which was a CCMT as listed here, but not paying attention, he pulled out an insert from another holder and it turned out that that insert was a CP. It actually was a, a CPGT. The P, if we look in the second position, the P is an 11 degree. So he put an 11 degree insert into a 7 degree pocket, which means that only the bottom of the insert, the very base, would sit in the pocket. So even with a set screw, when tightened down, it was still moving and rocking around because there was no support for it. So once we figured that out, we developed this sheet so operators and setup men can actually reference insert versus holders to be sure they have the correct one. Okay, so anyways, with this one here, we know we have an 80 degree diamond because of our first letter C. Our second letter C tells us it's a 7 degree pocket. The M tells us our tolerance on the manufacturing of that insert. All right, the tolerance of M, we look down the list, is two to four thousandths on our inscribed circle and five thousandths on the thickness. Okay, that's going to come into play in just a little bit here. Okay, so up here we go to insert type, which is the T. So we look up at the T, and it's a partial cylinder, one time chip break countersink. Okay, it's a center screw style because it has a countersink. One time chip break, which means it's a single sided insert. If you were using um, CNMG, where this would actually be a G in here, 
you would look it up. Cylindrical two times chip break, which means it's a two sided. Two sided insert both with chip breakers on both sides. Uh, for our for this insert here, we're using a T, so the T tells it's partial cylinder one time chip break, and it has a countersink, which is a center screw. Now, the next position I have a dash, there's nothing there, that's just a placeholder. The number five, okay, right here, part of our ISO uh, standards, is the insert size or the inscribed circle, which we already listed before. Part of the tolerances on the inscribed circle on an M is two to four thousandths. This tells us it's a three series insert. The three series says it's three eighths. Okay, so the inscribed circle or the circle that runs around the center section of the insert, if you're looking at the top and goes from edge to edge, is three eighths. If we were running a two size insert, which is a smaller one, you'll notice the two says it's a quarter inch inscribed circle. The sixth position, insert thickness, it's 2.5. We look at the 2.5 and it is 5 30 seconds. That's the actual thickness of the insert or the depth of that pocket that that insert sits in to get it back to center or near center. Number seven, corner radius. Now this says it's a 0.5. Look down the list at 0 0.5. 0 0.5 tells me it's an 8 thou nose radius. Now one thing you got to remember on these corner radiuses, um, like any of these inserts, you know, they're they have a print just like we do. And they are manufactured to print, but there's a tolerance on them. Now I don't have listed what the tolerance are, tolerances are on these inserts, but they on these bigger ones they do vary. Um, like on an 8 thou, they'll vary by a thou to a thou and a half until you get down to the zeros which would be like a 3250 or you go down to the x zeros all right the x zero is only a thou and a half nose radius um, they will be within five tenths the same thing with the zero they are usually within five tenths either side of four and it's not until you get to the larger inserts that they kind of have more tolerance on them and they'll actually kind of go up or down by a thou or so so looking at this insert that we have listed at least right here for right now up to number seven we know that number one is a C so it's an 80 degree we know that it's a seven degree relief angle we know its tolerances at two to four thousandths on the inscribed circle five thousandths on the thickness we know that it's a partial cylinder one-time chip breaker with a countersink because it's a center screw we know that the insert size, it's a 3 8 inscribed circle. We know that the 2.5 tells us it's a 5 30 seconds deep or uh, width on the insert. We know, station 7, that it's a 0 0.5, that it's an 8 nose radius. Up to this point, it's pretty easy, and all the manufacturers are going to follow that same format. All right, it's all ISO standard. The next positions from here are ISO standard but they're not used so much because they're optional. They're optional information and you're going to notice that it changes a little bit between manufacturer. In this case we have number eight is listed through ISO as a right or left hand uh, of the insert. Okay. Now you're going to see in this note up here most others use number eight as the edge prep and nine and ten as the chip form and right or left hand. Okay. Can of metal kind of flip theirs around a little bit. They're not using number eight, but in nine and ten, they're using our cutting edge condition or chip control features, which the others use as in number eight. So can of metal kind of skips eight and then goes to nine, where the other manufacturers use eight and skip nine. So in this can of metal insert, it's an LF chip breaker. So this is the cutting edge condition or chip control features. We go to the LF. LF is light finishing. Um, you're going to notice in the uh, ISCAR catalog or the Kyocera catalog, they're going to tell you whether it's a honed edge or a ground edge and what type of chip breaker they have on them and stuff like that. And that's going to be some of these other numbers that you're going to see. So that's 9 and 10. When you get to 11, 12, and 13, it's the T land width. Again, this is optional. You will only find it on some of the inserts, not all of them. Uh, 04 is going to equal four thousandths. 
08 is going to equal an 8 thousandths. And they'll also have the metric numbers there as well for millimeters. Um, after 11, 12, and 13, you have 14 and 15, which is a T land angle. Now, again, this is optional. The symbol is going to be 10 for a 10 degree, 15 for a 15 degree, all the way up to 30 for a 30 degree. And then the 16th position is, again, it's going to be optional. You don't find it on all the inserts. Um, MT is multi tip, M is mini tip, D is two sided mini tip. Again, Positions 8 through 16 are only partially, partially used by the manufacturers. Normally it's just 8, 9, 10 that are used. Um, the rest, again, are optional for other style of inserts. So we know that this insert here, again, is an 80 degree, 7 degree angle, or clearance angle. We know it's a, an M, which is 2 to 4 thou, and a 5 thou uh, tolerance on thickness. We know that the T tells us that it's a partial cylinder one-time chip break. We know that it's a 3 8 inscribed circle uh, insert. We know that, that it's a 5 30 seconds wide. We know that it's got an 8 nose radius and it's using, an, on, for Kenna Metal, an LF chip breaker or light finishing. That's what's recommended in Swiss machining. You know, it, it's used as a rougher and semi rougher and, and finisher. So that covers our ISO carbide insert nomenclature worksheet. Produced by Encompass Swiss Consulting Incorporated, 2012, all rights reserved.